we got the we got the uh, we're on we're live too. Okay, about as well as you ready? I'm gonna start the meeting. Yes. Are ready? Yep. <laughs> At this time, I'd like to call this special meeting to order. If you will, all please rise, and I'll ask our chaplain, uh, Commissioner Mitchell, to lead us in prayer, followed by the Pledge of Allegiance. Let us bow our heads. Dear Heavenly Father, we're so grateful and thankful for this day. We thank you, O oh, oh God, and ask like your guidance in this deliberation. We ask you to grant, grant us the knowledge and wisdom and understanding to make sound, sound decisions that's beneficial to the town and the community. So we thank you and ask these blessings of you. In your name we pray. Amen. 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 I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Amen. Amen. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. 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 Good our town clerk and I and also mentioned to our town manager but I, I requested this meeting because there'd been a question about the Juneteenth holiday and f especially for this particular year so in in realizing that that might be something that we would want to honor and celebrate I thought it would be better if we met and made that decision rather than uh, wait because the holiday is actually this Sunday, Juneteenth, and we, uh, if we want to recognize it, my thoughts and concerns would be to do it prior to our Monday night meeting. So that's why I ask you to come here this evening. My, my thinking would be it is a federal holiday. I did check with the state. They do not have it listed as a state holiday on their 2023 holiday schedule, but I do know that some uh, local municipalities have added it and have also added it as a paid holiday. So my thought would be that we honor it this year on this Friday, which would be the Friday before the holiday, and that then in years coming that it would be either honored on the day or the day that would be closest to it if it falls on a weekend. So at, at this time I'll open it up for discussion and, and what your thoughts are on that. Madam Mayor? Yes, sir. How many paid holidays do we have now? <clears throat> right now we have 12. We follow the state <clears throat> tradition. Um, and then there's also a birthday that is used during the month of your birthday. So technically, they still get their two weeks or one week vacation as well? Yeah, So they could have 25 days off, basically, you know. Uh, it depends on your tenure, how you right. mm -hmm. but yes, they could. The holidays, the state recognized holiday schedule. Yeah. Um, there are several federal holidays that the state doesn't recognize them. And I did, th as far as budgeting for something like this, it doesn't have to be considered because uh, the budget already is centered around the salaries that they acquire so that it doesn't cost us any more it just allows us to um, as an incentive or an opportunity for our um, staff and and the only people that would be affected that would have to be uh, is would be our police and fire because they really do work on holidays right. but ever otherwise <coughs> um, our regular staff uh, it wouldn't cost any more than what we currently have listed in our budget so it doesn't make a it's not a budget amendment it's not a budget change madam mayor mm -hmm. <clears throat> is it appropriate to make a motion at this time it's sure. yes sir do, do we need more discussion i would like to make a motion that we use the the dates specified by madam mayor to honor that at juneteenth with our employees having another paid day off. Okay, I have a motion, do I have a second? Second. I have a motion, a second. Any other discussion? Madam Mayor. Yes. Um, I was a little shocked we was having a whole meeting about this, but, um, and I had a whole little speech here, but I'm not gonna read it out to just give people the history about how MLK's birthday became a holiday. It took 32 years for that holiday to become a holiday, even though it was proposed in 1968 when he was assassinated and I have an entire history of how long it took for um, different states to adopt it to include Arizona and South Carolina being the last so when I asked for it in the email I was trying to make us like some of these other 
um, cities in North Carolina that are being a little bit progressive and not waiting to be like South Carolina and Arizona when it came to recognizing it as a state and a federal holiday. So I will not read the entire history, but I know that some people will have a question about it, but just know that um, Juneteenth will probably have to follow the same things that it took to make MLK Day a holiday, and that was the reason why it was requested in an email. Thank you. And, and the reason that I called the meeting was it was something that I felt like through the emails that we probably would be approved. And that since that, again, is something that I think is important uh, and important enough that if we did have anyone else that would like to come, that's why we did, we did a regular meeting. Any other discussion or anything yes. that anybody would like to add? And I'd just like to say yes. that in, our, in, in this country, there's only three states that do not recognize it as an official holiday. You know, and I think that uh, we've been a municipality that's taking this approach and stuff. I think it's, it is the right decision. I think it's the, it's the right way forward. And, 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 and the way we do a lot of things, especially showing our <coughs> citizens that we care and we're concerned and we are most definitely about diversity and considering everyone. I do believe that if we step forward and do this, that we'll be a leader. Mm -hmm in some cases and other municipalities will possibly follow us and i think it'll make it more significant yes. for our state that we've got municipalities making this rec rec recognition mm -hmm. whereas the like i said i did print the state's listing for the 2023 schedule which like ours it can be changed but right. i thought that was significant in, is that it's not on their schedule for next year but uh and so for us, and so just before we vote on this, for us this year, we would be recognizing this Friday because it mm -hmm. falls before the holiday. If the, um, and if in the years ahead, it could be that the holiday, I would, I would like to just say whatever day the holiday falls on becomes the holiday. Mm -hmm. That way we can plan ahead and you won't be arranging calendars right. for a, a mm -hmm. you know, a Friday or a Monday because that's what we've done with, um, uh, with most is we try always put them on Mondays, but I think in case of this, the date it falls on will be the significant date that we should observe. All right, all those in favor signify by raising your right hand. Any opposed, seeing none, it passes 5-0. And if you will, um, I know that um, we've had a couple of news media that have asked about our meeting and about what this was about. So that's why we do have it live and the, auto, the uh, uh, WRL called and we did have a, a media outlet that called, so that's the reason that we are uh, putting this out there, so even those in our community that might want to see it will be able to also. Do we have any other further business for today? If not, do we have a motion? Motion to adjourn. We have a motion to adjourn. We appreciate everyone being here, and we will see you uh, Monday. Monday. <laughs> oh,